Hello, everybody. Today we're going to be talking about the Chapter 11 Mid Chapter Checkpoint. So, you will probably need your protractor to help draw and measure your angles as needed. Okay, but let's start with the vocabulary word. And we are on page 453. So, clockwise. Well, that means it's going the way the hands on a clock go. Counterclockwise. Well, the opposite way of the hands on a clock. Degree, that's how we measure angles. And a protractor is a tool that we use to measure angles and to draw them. So a unit used to measure an angle is called a degree. <clears throat> Blank is the opposite of the direction in which the hands of a clock move. The opposite, so counter. And a blank is a tool for measuring the size of an angle, a protractor. All right. Now tell whether the angle of the cir circle on the circle shows a quarter turn, a half turn, a three quarter turn, or one full turn clockwise or counterclockwise. So when I say quarter turn, it's also read as one-fourth. So one-fourth is 90 degrees. <clears throat> well, this it makes a 90-degree angle, right? So this is one-fourth turn clockwise. Okay, how do I know it's going clockwise? Because of the direction of the arrow. Okay. Number five. Well, this is splitting the circle in half. So it's a half turn. And the arrow is going to the left. So that's counterclockwise. Number six, it's going clockwise. And if the hands were together here, when you got to the 12 or straight up, that would have been 90 degrees. When you got over to the like three on the circle, that would have been half. When you got down to the six, would have been three quarters. So three fourths turn clockwise. Okay, and I, I know these the circle doesn't have 12, 3, 6, um, but I'm just in my head, I'm seeing it as a clock. And straight up would be 12. Over to the side would be the 3 o'clock. Straight down is 6, and then this is 9. So if you have hands facing, if you have rays pointing at 9 and 12, that would be a 90 degree angle. Nine, nine o'clock and straight across to three, that would be half a turn. It would be a straight angle. And then if it goes down one more turn, that would be three quarters. All right, this one, you notice that it goes all the way around. Which direction is going to the left? So one full turn counterclockwise. Tell the measure of the angle in degrees. Okay, remember, there's 360 degrees in a circle. So 100 out of 360, that's a 100 degree angle. And it makes sense because 90 degrees would be going straight up from this point. And so this is slightly bigger than a right angle. 1 12th. You could use a protractor and measure it. You could memorize the 112th degree because every five minutes we talked about is 30 degrees. But we can also use equivalent fractions. And 12 times 3 equals 36. 
So 12 times 30 is 360. So multiply 30 times 12 to get 360, 30 times 1 to get 30. So 30 degrees. All right, number 10. Use a pr protractor to draw the angle. All right, so draw a ray. Put the center point of your protractor on the end point. Line the ray up with zero and go around until you get to 75. 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Five is right there. Okay, line up your straight edge with the two end points. Okay, here's, here's a dot, and here's a point, okay? And we can draw the line here. We don't need to extend the line all the way out. Remember, I was just doing that to um, <clears throat> see the mark properly, okay? So I don't need to draw the line, the ray all the way out to this point. And then we'd have three points on our ray. So that is a 75 degree angle. 127 degrees. Okay, so this time I'm going to get, have the zero going to the right. So I'm going to draw my ray. I'm going to put my end point, my center point on the end point. I'm going to line it up with zero. And then I'm going to find 127. So I'm going to use the inside. Again, I'm lining up the center point, and then I'm lining, lining up the ray with zero. And I'm going to follow the same scale around to 127. 120, 125, 126, 127. Okay, so I'm going to put my straight edge so that the straight edge lines up with the dot and the end point here. Okay. And I don't need to draw it all the way up. I just need to have something that helps me make the the ray. And so this is 127 degrees. All right, page 454. <clears throat> Philip watched a beach volleyball game from 1.45 to 2 p.m. How many degrees did the minute hand turn? So it's showing us 145, and the blue section on this side is showing me how much time elapsed or went by. So 5, 10, 15. So three twelfths of an hour went by. Well, we can divide that by three to get one fourth. We know that one fourth of a turn is 90 degrees. We can also tell that if we look at our, if you outline the blue shaded area, you notice that it forms a right angle, okay? What angle does this piece of pie form? What's a straight angle? 180 degrees. And what is the measure of angle C, B, T? All right, so you're going to put your center point on B, line up so 
Okay, so line up the center point. Okay, line the ray up. with zero, and then measure the line. Okay. This one I do want to extend it out a little because it's... a little more difficult to see. Okay. So I'm going to put that back on there, lining it up with zero. <clears throat> All right, so here's zero, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 64 degrees, measured twice. Sixty-three. All right, about sixty, about sixty-three degrees. Okay, I'm going to use the about symbol. The measure of angle CBT is about sixty-three degrees. All right, so that's it for the chapter. 11 mid-chapter checkpoint. So make sure you practice your skills on reading a protractor and how to draw your angles and also how to find, remember how to find equivalent fractions so that you can do it if you're given like how many, how many turns on the circle have you made and relate that to 360 degrees. So until our next lesson where we're going to be joining and separating angles. May the numbers always be in your favor.